This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. I am currently in central Hong Kong. I'm trying to find a bus that will take me to the southern end of Hong Kong Island. So we are going to visit some outskirts area. I'm very excited to see a different side of Hong Kong. And I think there's a bus station down here where we can find a bus. I think it's one of these uh, double-decker buses here. I did some research. There are three bus numbers that I can potentially take. 6, 6X and 260, I think it was. Okay, when I started filming, there were three buses waiting here. Now they are all gone. Oh, there's another one coming and it is number 6X. That's one of the numbers I can take. But, oh, the station uh, doesn't seem to be here. So maybe it's in here. Yeah, the good thing about the public transportation here in Hong Kong, what I really love about it, they are going very frequently. So usually there's a bus or a subway coming every few minutes and you can really reach every corner of Hong Kong with public transportation. So that's really, really convenient here. Ah yeah, 6X Stanley Village, that's where we want to go. Okay, if I understand the timetable correctly, it's going every 15 to 20 minutes. So I just missed one bus, so that means I have to wait around 15 minutes now. You're going to Stanley, right? Yeah, Stanley. Yes? Okay, thank you. Let's actually check out the upper floor here. Oh, maybe we can sit right in the front. Ah, this is cool, right? Sitting here right in the front with a view to the street here. Anyway, yeah, you maybe saw me paying with this card right here. I have this octopus card here by now, which is very convenient. You can uh, top it up with money and then you can use it to pay in any type of public transportation. There are even some restaurants and supermarkets in which you can pay with this card. So I think this card is a must have when you are coming to Hong Kong. All right, and we have arrived in Stanley. We have a little town near or village. I'm actually not sure how big it is, but yeah, the name is Stanley. And it suddenly feels like a different world. I'm yeah, very curious now to uh, have a little look around, check out this area here, maybe get some food. I'm actually very thirsty. Maybe we can find something to drink, a little snack. Have a look at this. This is pretty interesting. They have areas here called dog parking. Probably for people going to the supermarket. Oh, I've never seen this before. This is very funny. Dog parking areas. Wow. <laughs> Looks like a very nice area here, right? Some cafes here, pizza place. Looks like, a, like an upscale area. So there's definitely some, some money around here, I guess. I mean, yeah, this looks beautiful, right? Nice area here. Oh, we also have some information about the place here. Stanley, named after Lord Stanley, the British Secretary of State for the colonies. And then since the early 70s, Stanley has gradually developed into a popular tourist destination. And yeah, that's what I can see here. So I guess, uh, yeah, it is a popular place for people living in Hong Kong to get away from the, from the big city life, the noises. So we come here, it's beautiful here. <laughs> Trying to reach the edge over there without falling into the rocks here. Ah. ah, this looks actually pretty cool. Yeah, you can uh, climb on these rocks here to get to the edge here. To have a view right over the ocean here, pretty cool. Yeah, this is Hong Kong as well. Unbelievable, right? When you think of Hong Kong, usually you only think of this big mega city. And then you take a bus for like half an hour, 45 minutes. And this is also Hong Kong. And to be honest, before I came to Hong Kong, before I really did research about the place, 
I, to be honest, just thought Hong Kong is just this big one city. I never knew that there are so many outskirts areas as well that uh, also look like this. Beautiful places, calm. Maybe you remember one of the previous episodes where we went to the outskirt areas in the north where we tried to visit the Chinese border. That was already quite uh, interesting and impressive. And now we are at the very southern end of Hong Kong. This is the southern end of Hong Kong Island. And I am once again very impressed by how much Hong Kong has to offer. If you require a professional website, whether it's for personal usage or for your business, but you don't have any knowledge about coding or building websites from the scratch, I have a solution for you, Squarespace. I personally use Squarespace recently to set up a website for my own media kit and I really love their user-friendly drag and drop interface, the possibility to monetize the website super easy, for example, with membership areas. I can link to all my social media accounts, which of course is very helpful for me. And I am someone who has no idea about building websites or coding but even for someone like me it was really really simple to set up my own website literally within a few hours. On Squarespace you can find a huge variety of professionally designed looking templates which you can simply use to make the website look the way you like to. So go to squarespace.com to start a free trial, set up your own website, make it look the way you like to, whatever you are happy with and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash canabroad to get 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. Ah, there's a little market street here. Looks like a very touristy place, like a typical uh, market you can find along beach destinations all over Asia. You can buy clothes here, beach stuff I would call it, and all types of souvenirs. Okay, yeah, I'm not interested to uh, buy anything touristy here now. I'm trying to find the main beach. Oh. Pretty noisy. Yeah, according to Google Maps, the main beach is a few hundred meters down the road here. Fishball noodle. Actually, that is something I would like to try. Go, go to try. Oh, there's a restaurant inside, here. Inside, inside. Bye, is, bye, bye, Dong. This is the entrance to the restaurant. Uh, there are two way. One oh. of this and one of uh, beside of the ah. flowers. Uh, I would like to try the the fishball. I uh -huh. heard it's very good. Yeah, you can go in. Just go in here. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you Thank go. you. Thank you. Oh, this is a interesting entrance to a restaurant. Yes. <laughs> I almost can't fit through here. Ah. Hello. Hello. Hi, how? Hello. I would like to try the, the fish ball. Yes. Fish ball? Yeah. Fish ball uh, noodle? noodle. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. You have a really interesting entrance. Very interesting. I never... Oh, I, I eat here. I eat here, yes, please. Oh, interesting. Oh, without the help of the local guy, I would never have thought that there's a restaurant hidden inside here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, fishball. Um, where is it? I think it's this one here. Uh, I heard it's very uh, popular here in Hong Kong, so I always wanted to try it, but I didn't came across it so far. Wow, this place is very nice. Hidden inside or behind the market. Oh. Ah, can I see? This is the fish ball? No, fish no this is a beef ball, right? This one is fish ball. Ah, okay, okay. And the noodles? Yeah, ah. Oh, yeah, okay. Going to be a fresh meal here. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Do you have uh, milk tea? Ice milk tea. No, the Hong Kong milk tea? Uh, yeah, Hong Kong, Hong Kong style. Huh? Hong Kong style milk tea? Okay, so. A little soup here was literally now finished within one minute. Um, so we have the fish balls here, the noodles, and I'm not sure what this is. I'm going to uh, to ask him. Okay. What, what is this here? Uh, fish cake. Fish cake. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, so we have the milk tea here. Let me try that first. Mm. Very good, sweet milk tea. Mm. Very nice. We take a picture. Uh, if you're curious uh, to follow me in real time, see some behind the scenes, uh, feel free to follow me on Instagram as well. So this picture is uh, going to be for Instagram. Hello. Hey, how? Okay, so we have these very thin noodles here. A little bit hard to grab with the chopsticks. Oh yeah, right away you get um, a typical fish flavor. Probably coming from the fish bowls. 
Yeah, there's not really a strong fish flavor to it, just a tiny fishy flavor. I think I can add some flavors with uh, these here. We have different types of sauces here. Mm. Okay. Which one is the best for this? Uh, this one? The vinegar. I think the vinegar is good. Which one the vinegar? I can't really read it, it's in Chinese here. This is vinegar. This is vinegar? Uh, uh, this is soy sauce. This is soy sauce. And you think the vinegar is better? Yes. Yes? This is so salty. Salty, okay. Yes. And I will but add. this is made with the fish, not made with the bean. So yeah, with fish better with the vinegar? Like this is vinegar. Okay, so now I added some vinegar. Okay, thank you. Good job. Thank you very much. You're always good to ask the locals. If you're new in the country, you have no idea. But yeah, usually uh, the soy sauce, they uh, add saltiness to the, to the meals. And vinegar makes it a little bit uh, sour. So that's, actually the, the portion is very generous as well. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of noodles in here. So it's quite a decent portion. Okay, let's try again. Vinegar adds a different flavor to it, definitely. Not, not a much, not a, not a big difference. Just a little bit, but it tastes a little bit better now. How much you get? Uh, 39. 39? Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Thank you very much. Okay, it was really good. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, you too. Ah, so this is the second entrance. Ah, this is a, a bigger entrance, but I think this one is uh, it's cooler. I like this one more. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. A very interesting entrance to a restaurant here. You need to be a, a slim person to to fit through here, right? Ah, ah, interesting. Very interesting experience. Uh, I would have never thought walking by here that there's a restaurant here. I mean, probably the the sign here says it. Maybe like a restaurant inside this alley or something. Okay, that was cool. Okay, and I found the beach. Welcome to Stanley Main Beach. That name suggests that there are more than one beaches, right? If this is the main beach, it sounds like there are other beaches as well. But uh, beautiful here, totally not crowded. I mean, yeah, it's not a weekend here. I can imagine that on a, on a weekend it gets more crowded here. People from the city coming over here. And now today is a Thursday, Thursday afternoon, early afternoon. You can have a beach with just a few people here. Nice swimming area. Oh, I should have brought my swimming pants. But actually it's, uh, it's not that hot, you know, like I'm walking around with a long pants here. You know what I really love about uh, Hong Kong so far? Um, you saw me traveling a lot in Southeast Asia and I absolutely love Southeast Asia. But there was always one thing that uh, I thought would improve Southeast Asia. I always said Southeast Asia would be much better if it would be 10 degrees less. Now, usually Southeast Asia, it's around 33, 34 degrees constantly throughout the whole year. And I always thought, well, 10 degrees less and then Southeast Asia would be perfect, you know? And here it is 10 degrees less. We have around 23, 24 degrees. And I am actually way more comfortable with that. Like in the evenings, it gets a little bit chilly, so then I put on a, a hoodie. But during the day, I mean, even walking around with long pants here now, and I'm not sweating as much as I do in Southeast Asia. But you know what would be nice here now? Someone selling coconuts or ice cream. I don't see that. That would be really cool here now. There are two differences that I notice here compared to Hong Kong City. The first difference is I see way, way more Westerners here. Like, to be honest, I haven't seen that many Westerners in Hong Kong City. But here, there are a lot of Westerners, so I assume that there's maybe an expat community here, a lot of Westerners that are living here in uh, Stanley. But uh, that is uh, one big difference I notice. And the second big difference I notice is that most of the people here are not wearing the mask. Uh, by now, it is not mandatory anymore to wear a mask in public in Hong Kong. It's still mandatory though in public transportation and inside the buildings, I think. But in Hong Kong City, you still see, I would guess 90, 95% of the locals are still wearing the mask, even in public, even outside. But here it's different. 
Here I see most people without the mask. Also, this area seems to be pretty westernized. All of the restaurants here along the, the ocean front are having en English menus, Western food. So it's actually a little bit hard to find Chinese places here. And then we have a little uh, Chinese temple, like a mini temple here. I guess it is a temple. And uh, this one really stands out here because yeah, everything around here is actually pretty Westernized. But uh, something Chinese can still be found here. People are fishing here. Hello. Okay, I think up there, up the mountain, there's a viewpoint. Let's see if we can uh, find a way to get up there. Maybe to catch the sunset. Okay, this looks like a little hiking trail. Pak Tai Temple, the ancient well. Let's check it out. Usually red signs don't mean something good. Usually red signs are a warning, right? So I'm curious what's written on this sign. So let me get out Google Translate. Let's see if we can translate it. Uh, Pak Tai Ancient Temple, Millennium Ancient Well. Huh, I think that's the same that was written on the sign over there in English. But yeah, when I see red signs, I usually think of uh, something bad, you know, because usually red signs are a warning for something. Oh yeah, down here is a little temple, probably overlooking the, the bay here. Actually, it's quite interesting here. We have a interesting mix of like, yeah, Chinese uh, temples here. So like Hong Kong Chinese style. And then over there is like an upscale westernized area. So a very interesting uh, mix, I would say. Let's have a little look around. We have some, uh, some pictures here on the wall. We have an entrance here. Mm. Looks like this. A little bit dark in here, so I'm not sure how much you can see now. There's a donation box here. I think it's uh, good luck if you donate for temples. Oh, actually very peaceful here. I like to visit temples because uh, it's usually a very peaceful environment, quiet. You can use it to... Uh, yeah, if you want to make some decisions in life and you need some, some time to think, come to a temple, sit down enjoy the peaceful environment and think about life and your decisions and yeah another view over to the bay ah, i guess this is the viewpoint on top of the, of the mountain here fortunately the sun is already hidden behind the clouds over there and also I think this isn't the perfect sunset spot because the buildings over there are kind of blocking the view. And you're also here, the view to the bay is a little bit blocked by all these trees here. But I think I can fix the problem with uh, flying my drone. And yeah, with the drone we are of course able to, to see everything that is possible to be seen from this viewpoint. Actually quite beautiful around here. And you can see we are on top of the, of the little hill here. But you can also see that yeah, the view over to the potential sunset is blocked by the buildings uh, behind the mountain here. Very interesting to see this different side of Hong Kong. And if you are curious to see one of the previous videos where we explored the northern outskirts of Hong Kong, where we visited the Chinese border, check out the video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.